Hey up guys, welcome back to the Latana army. I'm Latana and we're back with Hellblade. And we've just come through the big gate now and we've just gone over the bridge. And we've just defeated the God of Illusion, uh, Val Raven that was, and Cert the God of Fire. And now we've finally crossed the bridge and we're going to see what is through this door. So we're, we're actually finding what's over the bridge now. Okay. Every gate you open into darkness. Brings another chance. Whoa. Okay, go straight straight into a fight for us again then. Okay, not a great start. So I guess the trick with this guy is to dodge. Again? It's not over. It's not over. Oh. <laughs> Come on, use the, sh use the mirror. Ooh. Come on, big guy. Oh, damn it, again. She's hurt. She's injured. Yeah, we're still in it. We're still in this. Here we go. Oh no. Who's this guy? Okay, I don't know where this guy came from. Damn it! Oh, come on. Come on. Oh, we can do this. Oh. Finish this. God, you really want to be on your toes in this one. Ooh. Oh. 
combat's definitely getting tougher. Voices. Ooh. Okay, I'm gonna break his attack here. Damn it. Oh god. There we go. All right, we've got him pinned. I think he's as good as ours. Oh. All right, so we came through that door, I think. Or that door. All right, let's work out where next. So I'll take a look around. Okay, so it's not that one. This one then maybe? Ah, here we are. Oh, runes. Let's go and focus on these and see what we can find then. The journey to Helheim is never a straight one. Each must find their own path. Align yourself to its secrets, and you will find yours. The X has got to be something to do with these. Is that the X? There we go. That's the X. Right, I want to work out these other two shapes. We've got an S. We're kind of limited on where we can go, which makes this a bit tougher. What's out here? Ah. However you come to the gold-covered bridge that leads to hell, you may find it guarded by a giantess. She will ask your name. She will ask your lineage. She will ask your business. The Northmen tell of the warrior woman Brynhild, who leapt into fire and rode to hell to join her slain love Sigurd. And is challenged by the giantess. Mm. Okay, what's that noise? Okay, this is tricky because we've pretty much been everywhere around here. There's not really much to look at. Can we get this way? Take some time. <clears throat> I 
Okay, so there's no doubt that we're lost here, so let's just keep looking. Alright, we've checked out the rooms, though. some steps all right that is bizarre so I guess that's what the god of illusion was training is forming now all right I hope that's not time based and they don't disappear by the time we get there oh, okay that makes sense now clever is around here somewhere. Is that going to be made up of these again? Okay, this is always tricky. Ah, I can see it. Well, it's got to be it, right? No? <laughs> ah, there we go. Just take, took a while to get that one. Alright, so let's go and find the other one then. Do we go up or down? Well, let's go up first. Aha. There you go. Oh, that was tough, so that door should be open now. But I do want to explore down here. Alright, let's check it out. Oh, it's the other side of the door. Okay. Hela possesses large dwelling places in Helheim. Tall are her walls, high are her gates. The name of her dish is hunger, her knife is famine. On her threshold all will stumble. Her bed is called sick bed, and her bed hangings are called flames of a funeral pyre. They say she is easy to recognize, half black and half the color of flesh. And her face, menacing and grim. Okay, I'm guessing we're going to meet that person pretty soon, but let's go through this door then. I like how the puzzle seems just the right amount of difficult. Ooh. Okay, so we're in a storm by the look of it. You're not a warrior, you're a disgrace. 
The gods will punish you for this. Pick up the sword. Pick it up. Fight the darkness. Fight it. Get up. Get up. Get up. Oh, here we go, guys. reaching deep inside of her. Stormy seas and lost souls. She's dreamt of this before. They say dreams are visions of our memories, thoughts and fears, as seen by our inner eye. But what if each one of us is always dreaming, even when awake, and we only see what our inner eye creates for us? Is this what hell is? A world shaped by Senua's nightmares. Maybe that's why people feared seeing the world through her eyes. Because if you believe that Senua's reality is twisted, you must accept that yours might be too. You failed the gods. You're pathetic. Rotten. Cursed. What were you thinking? Did you really think you could win? How stupid can you be? Everyone hates her. She's cursed. Look at you. A warrior. Worthless. Weak. Pathetic. Go on. Feel sorry for yourself. Because there is no one left to do that for you. Everywhere. What's that? Take it. If you're too much of a coward to fight, then end the suffering. Broken and lost. Just do like it. your soul. Come on. Dare. <laughs> Okay, that's getting pretty dark. Why go on? When you give everything and face that which torments you. Only to find that it is worse than you could have imagined. Why go on? Is it really so weak to ask this? Or are we just so afraid of the honest answer? That we do not dare pose the question. Sometimes the answer lies in a memory, a feeling, a song. We're going to get to see him. The light. Go towards the light. It's him. There he is. It can't be him. It's just a trick. It's in your mind. It's, no, he's here. it's in your it's mind. Him. It's real. It's happening. Go towards it. Okay, I was going to end the video there, but I want to see what this light is. Let's get a little bit closer to see what we can find. You've got to stop for a moment to take that in. Yeah, I'm sure that light's getting further away. Oh. There it is. You're imagining things. It's Dylan. He's coming. You're too slow. 
How could you? Keep going. How could you? Keep going. Ignore the pain. I told you it was to trick you. Can I get over this? She's where he was. Before she first met him, she was not in a good place. Just a teenager, but not like the others. Barely functioning, she rarely left the house. Her father, Zinbel, made sure of that. Only occasionally did she venture out on her own, collecting firewood and herbs, errands out in the Orkney Plains. That was her world. Like this one. Barren and lonely. His name is Sigmund. His father's hall was built around a great tree, and one day, Odin comes and thrusts a sword into the tree, a gift to whomever can release it. Many try, but the sword only comes out at Sigmund's touch. His brother in law, King Sigir, wants it, but Sigmund refuses him, so King Sigir plots revenge. He invites Sigmund and his brothers to a feast, but when they arrive, they are met with an army, not a warm welcome. King Sigir captures Sigmund and his brothers, steals his coveted sword, and readies them for execution. I don't know if this is the right way or if we were supposed to go under the bridge. I just saw this door. Death for Sigmund and his brothers seems certain. But the king's wife is Sigmund's sister. And she begs for mercy and implores the king to chain them up instead. He agrees. Not for mercy though, but because he plans an even more cruel and lingering death. Chained to a tree in the forest that night, a she-wolf comes and devours one of Sigmund's brothers. She returns, ravenous, night after night, until only Sigmund is left. The next day, Sigmund's sister sends a servant with honey to smear on Sigmund's face. But to what end? Well, that night, when the she-wolf appears again, You'll never guess what happens. Oh, I thought it was going to tell us. Oh.
Okay, I think we need to make our way further over towards there, which is where we last saw the light. So I'm going to get myself back down there, and then I think we'll call it from there. Um, okay, then guys, so if you're enjoying the series, make sure that you leave a comment down below and make sure you leave a like on the video. And if you're not part of the Latana army already, make sure you subscribe, and we'll see what happens next on this one tomorrow. Take care.